be here. Uh, I'm uh, Ray Eisen. I'm Professor of Systems at the Open University in the UK. Uh, I've been there for 25 years as a Professor of Systems. There are not many Professors of Systems in the world and that's one of the uh, problems we have uh, because there are not many uh, sites or locations where systems education in a comprehensive manner is undertaken. But the Open University has been engaged in systems education for the best part of 50 years. And so I'll be talking about some of that experience as well as some of my own experience this morning. Well, I'm going to talk today about the what I'll call uh, as a series of waves of um, uh, enthusiasm for systems and systems ideas which have happened over my lifetime and the period before and uh, these waves of enthusiasm and activity um, have always attracted an interesting group of people but they've come crashing to the ground without much um, effect without being institutionalised and without sustaining themselves over the longer term. So uh, I see this event, this conversation, as part of a new wave of enthusiasm for systems and systems ideas, uh, which I welcome. But uh, my, um, my mission, if you like, is to try and get people to think why have these things failed in the past and what needs to happen now if we're to sustain it. And I would say that the mainstream paradigm, which it's trying to replace, is exceptionally powerful and bites back very powerfully. Mm. Uh, systems as an intellectual area and a practical area has not really flourished in universities at all because universities have become more uh, systematic, more focused, more reductionist, if you like, or more discipline-bound. Uh, and the metrics for academic performance uh, reinforce those sorts of behaviours. But there's lots of innovation going on in social entrepreneurial activities, NGOs, mm. uh, think tanks, innovation labs, these sorts of areas, which I think is a, a great uh, thing. And there's no doubt that the, uh, there's an increase in the expression of social need because, quite frankly, the situation we're in is a uh, highly problematic and we've yeah. got to get ourselves out of it. Yeah. Um, but what I don't see though is, uh, uh, well, I see a little bit too much hand waving mm. and not enough um, mm. uh, deep engagement with uh, building a, uh, a network of institutionalised uh, paradigm busting organisations, a new ecology that's going to yeah. supplant the old ecology of yeah. yeah. Well, anyone who tries to understand this field needs to under appreciate the role of a set of conferences in the US called the Macy Conferences after the Second World War and think about who the people were in those conferences and what they then went on to do and the, what I call the traditions of understanding that grew out of those uh, particular conversations. Uh, and many of the issues that were debated and argued about then are unresolved now. And there's no doubt that there have been many things that have been highly uh, successful. The rise of computing, uh, mm. von Neumann and uh, others were part of these conversations. And cybernetics. So, and what I would call first order cybernetics, yeah. which are around control theory. If you think of the development of weapon systems and all of those sorts of things, the mil military industrial complex, Robert McNamara of Vietnam, they were all influenced by systems ideas. Mm. And of course, systems ideas can be used for good and bad. Mm. And that's the issue, or a issue, that has to be uh, carried on board. But there were other issues, uh, perhaps reflected in the, the um, bifurcation of the cybernetics uh, movement into uh, first and second order cybernetics, that marked a a significant shift in the way at least some of those people began to think and that second that shift that second order shift hasn't necessarily been built into the institutions and practices mm. well it's a big issue um, I, I was going to go back into the uh, Macy conferences and uh, perhaps explore the concept of feedback um, 
I mean, feedback is a classic first order cybernetic concept. A control, a control system in a thermostat is a feedback process. But uh, Kurt Levin was also a participant in some of those Macy conferences and is responsible for the ideas around action research and uh, really for the ideas of how we use feedback in group processes and learning. So within the social domain. But we've, um, we've lost track in the institutional arrangements we've um, built. And the classic case is government or governance. I mean, governance comes from the cybernetic metaphor, mm. and it's essentially the enactment of feedback. Mm. But our governance systems are mm. pure, incapable of enacting yeah. feedback dynamics and processes, mm. etc. So, and I've got a, written a book with uh, Ed Straw, which is about to be published, which is about the how to address the systemic failure of our government systems, which I think is really where most of the uh, gains have got to be made in the future.